Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you and God favor you. It's a blessing to have you. My name is Titi Eagles. I'm the lead pastor, Eagles Dominion House International. We are here in Nairobi CPD, Nairobi, Kenya. In case you're watching outside, I'm out of the nation. So we are in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, when you come to Nairobi CPD, um, we are in Sunbeam Shopping Complex. Sunbeam Shopping Complex, fifth floor. Um, Sunbeam is right opposite Equity Bank along Fangano Street. Um, I want us to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we hear your word, I pray that you speak to us. I pray that you minister to us today. Have your way in this place. Have your way in this service. We cannot do without you. We love you. Holy Spirit, we love you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 is where I want to start with. And I'm speaking about beholding light. Beholding light. Um, beholding light or to behold light. Um, remember that in this month of August, the Lord spoke to us that is a month of light. And therefore, we've been digging deeper. The Lord has been taking us from glory to glory, from level to level, giving us more understanding of the scriptures, giving us more a uh, deeper understanding of light. And by now we have established that light is Jesus. We have established that Jesus is light. Because John bears witness in, in chapter 1 of the book of John, verse 1 down to 5, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And uh, everything was made through him, and nothing, nothing that is made that is not made through him. So everything is made through him. In him was a life, and this life is the light of men. And light shines in darkness, and darkness did not comprehend it. Light shines in darkness, and darkness did not comprehend it. So we have been speaking about all that, and today I want to speak about beholding light, to behold. So what is to behold? To behold is to look upon. To behold is to look upon. Beholding, so when I say beholding, is looking upon. Looking upon light. To behold is to look upon light. Mm. Beholding light. Watch this. We can also say to believe. Because you are looking upon light in belief. You're believing. Remember we said that Jesus is light. So when I say light, I mean Jesus. When I say Jesus, I mean light. It's one and the same. Alright? So it's like saying Titi Eagles. When you say Titi, I will say yes, sir. Or yes, madam. When you say Eagles, I'll say yes, sir. It's one and the same. Alright? So to look upon, to believe. Beholding light. And I was, want us to read first, um, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror uh -huh, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Now, just as by the Spirit of the Lord, watch this. I want to repeat again. But we all, that what we all, they say it means Jews and Gentiles, all Christians, everyone that believes in Christ. But we all, with unveiled face, a face that is not covered, unveiled. So a face that doesn't have a veil on it, with unveiled face, beholding, looking upon, as in a mirror, the way you look yourself in a mirror, and the person you see on the mirror is you. 
when you look yourself in the mirror, the image that you see on the mirror is your image. But now, Paul is saying, beholding as in a mirror, as in a mirror, mm -hmm, the glory of the Lord. Beholding in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory. So what Paul is saying in this scripture is that as we, as we behold, as in like in, in a mirror, as in a mirror, as we behold the glory of the Lord, we are transformed into the same image. In other words, now it's not a, a normal mirror. It's not a physical mirror. So what Paul is saying is we are showing like Jesus being that mirror. As we behold him, we are transformed in the same image. Or into the same image. As we behold him, we are transformed. In other words, as we behold him, we are transformed to look like him. I will repeat what I said. So Paul is saying, but we all, minus no one, with unfailed face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image. Remember Genesis chapter 1, where God says, let us make man in our image. There is an image. And that image is not about being black, being white, no. The image is Jesus. That is why we are beholding to look like Jesus. Because there is... Because it is Jesus who is the express image of the Father. And the Father said in Genesis, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. So the image here is Jesus. So as we behold, mm, so, but we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the way you, you look yourself on a mirror, the way you stand before a mirror and you check yourself, you check your shirt, you check your coat, you check your blouse, whatever it is. You check your sweater, whether you're okay, you check your face, your eyebrows, you know, your, your, whether you, your, uh, your makeup is nice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord. Now it's an application. So, so now what we are beholding, the glory of the Lord is Jesus. It's the same by saying, beholding, as in a mirror, the light. We are being transformed as we behold light. As we look upon Jesus. As we look upon him. We are transformed into the same image in other words, as you behold on light, you are transformed to become the same image. You become light. Because you are beholding onto light. I want you to understand what I'm saying. If we are good so far, just tell me we are good so far. If you didn't get it, you can say, repeat what you said. And I'll repeat it. Thank you, Jesus. So, we all, with unveiled face, beholding. Beholding who? Beholding light. Beholding light. And I said that word behold is to look upon. So, as we look upon light, as we look upon Jesus, we are transformed into the same image. And the word is from glory to glory. So it is not a one-time event. As you look upon light, 
you are transformed into the same image that you can see in him now when the bible talks about the same image it has all to do with who jesus is who light is that light shines in darkness and darkness did not comprehend so as you behold light you become light from glory to glory so every time you look on light you are transformed that word transform it means being changed into another form you metamorphose you remember the story of caterpillar how it metamorphoses hey. the beautiful butterfly you see it once looked like a worm but the difference is the finished product that is the beautiful cat are you here the beautiful butterfly or caterpillar he was once a worm it has metamorphosed or metamorphs watch this so as you behold light you are changed into another form which other form the one you see there is power in beholding there is power in looking upon because in looking upon Jesus looking upon light you believe okay 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 in the days of Jacob the angel of the Lord shows him what to do to multiply his livestock to multiply his wealth and he stored to cut some branches of almond tree and peel off in lines the branches all right watch this so now he placed the almond branches on the feeding troughs so that when the animals came to take water and they are mating they conceive what they see in other words the principle is they conceived what they beheld as you behold light what you produce is light what you become is light how you begin to behave you behave like light you do things like light you preach like light you perform miracles like light when i say light i mean jesus the desire of the father is that as you behold light you become light that's why i'm speaking about beholding light Thank you, Holy Ghost. I want you to understand. I don't want you. To, I don't want to rush you. So as you behold, and I say to behold is to look upon, is to believe. It's not just to gaze. Mm -mm. That word look upon is very deep. It's not just a. And the, uh -uh. As you looking on Him, as you trust Him, as you believe Him, as you see Him, you become like Him. Because the Bible says, but we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image. In You are transformed as you behold. So the secret of becoming like him is to behold him. There's a song we used to sing. I want to be like Jesus. I want to, okay, to be like Jesus is not through fasting, it's beholding Him, it's looking upon Him. Did you hear what I said? It's as you behold Him, you are transformed into the image that you beheld. That's what Paul is saying. Mm -hmm. Beholding as in the mirror. In other words, a mirror 
If you are checking yourself on the mirror, you come close. You want to see every detail. Come on, are you here? Ah you, 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 you come closer to the mirror. You want to see the detail of every color. If, if, if it's, eh? My beautiful girls, as you, as you behold yourself on the mirror, you want to see everything is perfect. Your hair is perfect. Come on. Your eyelashes are perfect. You know, your eyebrows are perfect. Everything that you put, the makeup you put on is perfect. Now, Paul is saying, as you behold as in a mirror, as you behold as in a mirror, uh -huh, the glory of the Lord. So I say, as you behold as in a mirror. Uh -huh. what the light so as you uh, you bring the mirror more closer to see finer details so as you behold the light as you look upon this light as you behold light you are transformed into the same image of light La light as an image and the image of light is Jesus the son of God oh, yeah. light as an image so as you behold light you are transformed into the same image that you are beholding the purpose of a mirror is that you behold yourself in a mirror to make sure that you're perfect. But you know you, you are not perfect. Light is perfect. So when now it comes to beholding as in the mirror, you're beholding on light. Light is perfect. Light knows how to manifest the glory of God. Jesus is the express image of the Father. So that is why when Philip asked, asked Jesus, Okay, show us the Father. Mm. Jesus said, I have been with you all this time. And you don't know the Father. What he was trying to say, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. When you have seen me, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Because me and the Father, we are one. My Father is in me, and I am in my Father. So in other words, focus on me. Because when you focus on me, you have the Father in you. In other words, I am the father. <laughs> to transform is being changed into another form. Now this form is the form of light. So as you behold light, you are transformed into the same image of light. And the same image of light is Jesus. From glory to glory. So it's not a one-time event. You keep on glowing and shining. So the way you behold for one week is not the same as you keep on beholding for a year. As you keep on beholding on light, as you behold light, you are transformed, you are changed, you metamorphose from glory to glory. You could not heal the sick, you begin to heal the sick. You behold the light, you heal cancer. You behold light, you heal diabetes. You behold light, you walk cripples. You behold light, you begin to raise the dead. You are you here? Rabo Sata. You behold light. L let me take you to where this story is from. In the book of Exodus, chapter 34. I worship you, Jesus. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. When Moses spent time with God. And remember first John chapter 1 verse 5 God is light in him there is no darkness so Moses we can say we can boldly say that Moses spent time with light mm. so when he goes for the Ten Commandments the tablets second time he spends time Moses beholds light Moses beholds light and he is transformed 
Paul is saying with unveiled faces because Moses had to veil his face okay let me not go ahead of myself Exodus 34 verse 29 That's 429. All right. Bible says, Now it was so, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were, with Mo were in Moses' hands when he came down from the mountain, that Moses, watch this, did not know that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. As Moses continued to talk with God, Moses did not know <laughs> that the face of his skin shone. Now that talking with God is what I'm calling beholding light. You behold light as you spend time with Jesus. That is what is called beholding light. He is not somewhere in the atmosphere or you take an image. Eh? That white Jesus. You say, I'll, I'll keep on looking at him. That's not Jesus. That's an image they took. That's a man who plays. Uh, eh? Have you seen the movie of Jesus? Dying on the cross. That's the image they take. And then they will print it, bring it to your house. That is not Jesus. So that's, that's not beholding Jesus. So as you spend time in the presence of God, as you spend time, that is not what is called beholding light. As you behold light. So Moses is talking with God in the mountain. And God is giving him the laws. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Moses receives something. The face of Moses is transformed. In other words, the one he talked to began to affect the face of Moses. Okay. Verse 30. I'm reading Exodus um, 34, verse 29. I'm now 30. So when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone and they were afraid to come near him. <laughs> that one. Then Moses called to them and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned to him and Moses talked with them. Afterward, all the children of Israel came near and he gave them as commandments all that, um, gave them commandments all that the Lord had spoken with him on Mount Sinai. And when Moses had finished, speaking with him, he put a veil on his face. So, so Paul is quoting from here. And he talks about the glory that was upon the face of Moses that faints. But this kind of glory now does not faint. It's the, it's the true light. The original light. Now watch this. Moses did not realize that his face was shining. The face of his skin was shining. He has spent 40 days in the mountain. He comes down. Thank you, Father. Look at the state of the wife of Moses. Zipporah has missed her husband for 40 days. The children, Aaron, and all the congregation, they have missed on Moses. And they were so careful this time not to make a golden calf because it was the second time he went. So they were so expectant of Moses. And Moses comes down carrying the two tablets. And when they see him, they run away from him. They were afraid of him. Why? His face was shining, beholding light. Mm. That is why as you behold light when demons will see you they will run away from you when cancer sees you cancer will run away 
Because light shines in darkness and darkness did not comprehend it. When Moses comes down the mountain, his face, the skin of his face is shining. Now watch this. They, Moses himself did not realize that his face was shining. Even the one that was talking to him, God, on the mountain, did not tell him, by the way, Moses, as you go down, just know that your face is shining. God didn't tell him. Moses did not realize it's the people that saw his face shining. And they were afraid of coming near Moses. And they ran away because Moses had been transformed, had received another form. Beholding light. Thank you, Jesus. Beholding light. Moses spent time. And God is speaking to him. He's talking with God. And when he leaves, his face is shining. As you behold light, you begin to shine. Now, today I say you become light. But remember Paul is saying, from glory to glory. So that means the thing keeps on growing. Hey. It keeps on growing. As you spend more time, you are transformed into another image. You are transformed. You, you assume another form. Something about you changes. When people come around you, they realize something about you has changed. You are no longer the person we knew. You are no longer the Agnes we knew. You are no longer the Mary we knew. You are no longer the Titus we knew. You are no longer you are no longer the preacher we knew. You are, no, you are no longer the evangelist we knew. You are no longer the psalmist we knew because you keep on beholding light. You are transformed Paul says from glory to glory. You are transformed into that image from glory to glory. Which image? The image of light. And the image of light is Jesus. So you are transformed from glory to glory. Who am I talking to here? Because you're being transformed from glory to glory. I should behold light. The secret is beholding light. And I have taken you back. What is Paul meaning by saying beholding light? Moses spent time with God. Moses spent time in the presence of God. As you behold light, you are transformed into light from glory to glory. Your form changes. Your behavior changes. How you do things changes. How you preach changes. How you minister changes. Your maturity from glory to glory as you behold light. The secret is beholding light. I say the secret is beholding light. Moses spends time and when he comes down they are afraid of him. Nobody can stand him. In fact, after finishing speaking with him he would cover his face. It was too much. The glory of God was too much. The light The light on the face of Moses was too much. Was too much. Listen, as you behold light, this light, let me use the word to grow. It will become too much. But the meaning of what I mean is from glory to glory, you will be transformed. The growth I'm talking about is transformation, metamorphosis. You shall metamorphose.
as we behold, beholding in a, as in a mirror, we are transformed from glory to glory. Beholding light. And then we go back to Exodus and then we find that for the face of Moses to shine 40 days. I'm not saying you go and fast 40 days. I'm saying you spend time. You gaze, you look upon him. As he spent time, as Moses spent time in the presence of God, who is light, he came shining. I don't want to touch on anything else right now because my time is up. And I want to pray with you. Because as you behold light, you are being transformed into the image of that light. And the image of this light is Jesus. You become light. I didn't want to say becoming light. I want to say beholding light. Because it is when you behold this light, you become as it is. As you behold light, you are transformed into the very same image of light. I'm praying for you right now. In the name of Jesus. That you will learn to behold on Jesus. To behold on light. You will learn the secret. The secret of manifesting this light. Because it's only when you become light. You can manifest this light. You cannot give. What you don't have. You must become it first. Then dispense it. You must receive it first. And then give it. You can never manifest this light. Without you becoming light. So beholding light. Is like. A candle. That was off. And then. You go to another candle. That is lighted. And then. Uh, you're given light and this candle that was not, had no light now has light now you can go because you can manifest the same light oh my goodness you can manifest the same light you received from light did you understand it? <laughs> when you behold light you manifest the same light you received by beholding light. In other words, you and the light you beheld, you become one. That's why Jesus says, be in me and me in you. What he was saying is that Behold light. Become light. Manifest light. That's what Jesus said. You will do greater things if you believe than what I did. Because as you behold him, as you behold light, you become light. You begin to manifest light. You heard me. You heard me. You are there. You heard me. And you've been desiring. How? You've been singing songs. I want to become like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I want to resemble Jesus. I want to do things like Jesus. I want to preach like Jesus. This is the secret. Beholding light. As you behold light, you are transformed into that image that you've been beholding. So Moses spent time 
beholding light and as he leaves the mountain high and goes down the mountain his face is shining the skin of his face is shining and people are running away from him because the Moses that went up the mountain is not the Moses that came down from mountain the Moses that went up took time to behold light and by the time he comes down hey, Moses has become light they are running away from him they don't understand him they don't get this thing he had to cover his face he had to veil his face the grace is upon you as you hear this word as you believe in what you just had as you practice what you just had it will begin to manifest in your life as you behold light transformation is inevitable as you behold light metamorphosis changing form today you are so fearful today you are so fearful today you are so faithless but as you behold light as you behold light yes as you behold light you become like him the same grace is flowing into your life I said this grace is flowing into your life Peter looks at the cripple and says silver and gold I have none but such as I have I give unto you in the name of Jesus I have no gold to give you I have no silver to give you but such as I have in the name of Jesus receive light be transformed as you hear the word Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing as you hear as you hear you are becoming it as you see it you are becoming it as you believe you are becoming it as you look upon this light you're becoming it this is your time this is your season to behold light desire to have time to spend time with light spend time with light spend time with the light Moses only 40 days only he comes down his face from glory to glory I want to show you something when they were in Egypt before they leave Egypt Moses was spending time with God and Moses would receive messages from God and Moses would appear before Pharaoh but you know what Moses kept on beholding light until one day he accesses depths because light has depths as you access this depth of light whoa, whoa, from glory to glory I pray for you in the name of Jesus as you access more depths of light you will be transformed from level to level from glory to glory you will manifest this light in Jesus name and therefore I speak this light in your marriage I speak this light in all the areas of your life mention any area of your life and this light is transforming is bringing a transformation transformation is brought about by beholding light 
as that marriage, you that is in that marriage that is in turmoil, as you behold light, as you behold light, every high place is being leveled. Every mountain is being made low. Every valley is being filled. As you behold light, mountains are leveled. As you behold light, valleys are filled. As you behold light, every crooked way is being made straight. I speak into your life. It's time to behold life. Things are changing. There is a transformation. Thank you, Father. That situation that is full of darkness as you behold light darkness darkness is consumed darkness darkness is leaving your life darkness is disappearing from your marriage from your children as you behold light thank you father thank you father thank you father thank you father if you're not born again, say after me. Say, Jesus, I believe in my heart that God raised you from the dead. I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, you are born again. You are saved. Your sins are forgiven. Your past is gone. Your name is written in the books of life. It is well. It is well. My name is Titi Eagles. I'm the lead pastor. Eagles Dominion House International. We are here in Nairobi, Kenya. Sunbeam Shopping Complex. Fifth floor. Right opposite Equity Bank. Along Fangano street you can call that number you can text you can send an sms you can send a message on whatsapp you can check um on youtube tito higgles please like share subscribe that page god bless you god favor you i love you see you tomorrow see you tomorrow god bless you shalom shalom